Penny, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> so almost a year ago uh, yes. that you won those medals, is, is like everything just boring now after that? No, I wouldn't say it was, it's boring now, but um, I think it's, if anything, more exciting. I've just had like so many opportunities this year and so much stuff that I'm super, super grateful for. Oh, yay, here comes Penny! Whether it's like a parade that I got to go to or a concert or getting invited to like meet people and everything, it's, it's super cool. So what's it like going back to high school after winning four Olympic medals? Um, it's pretty much the same, I guess. I think it, if anything, it's like a little bit easier for me just with my parents and everything, knowing how to sort stuff out and schedule things for me. I think it's a little bit easier this year than it was previous years. Did people look at you differently? No, I wouldn't say they looked at me differently, but I'd say it was pretty fun just to go back and like have people at school and I like celebrate and congratulate you. It was pretty fun. But it must be kind of weird, like people must sort of put you <laughs> on a bit of a podium, a bit of a pedestal now. I think people that don't know me might put me on that like podium a bit more than the people that do know me. Like when I'm with my friends, they're, they're like kind of make a joke out of it. Like they're like, Penny, like what can you get us for free? Like can we go for food and get free sushi? Like they just always make little jokes and stuff. Do you get free sushi when you go to restaurants? No, I haven't. I wish. I really like sushi, so. So what do you do with your medals? Uh, my mom takes care of my medals, yeah. I feel like I don't like wearing them. I don't know why. Hmm. I kind of just like looking at them and then like putting them away. <laughs> so overall, what was your favorite moment in Rio? What was the best part? Mm -hmm. I think my favorite moment was either the 4x100 bronze medal that I won with the girls that I train with basically every day, or it was carrying the flag at the closing ceremonies. Mm. That was crazy and something I could have only dreamed of. And then you won the Lou Marsh Award. That was yeah, pretty amazing. I know, that was crazy too. There was just so much stuff that happened in the last year that I honestly could not have even imagined if you told me about it like two years ago. You beat up Sidney Crosby, on yeah. the grass. Yeah. yeah, I just remember sitting in class and going up to my teacher before class and being like, hey, so I'm going to be on my phone for a lot of this class right now because I want to see if I'm going to win this award. And Best athlete did, of the year. Yeah. yeah. Did you get the call in class? Uh, there wasn't really a call. I kind of just saw it on Twitter and then I had to like go to the office and do interviews and stuff. So. So now you're preparing for the Worlds. Mm -hmm. You've got pretty high standards to live up to. Yeah, I think I'm definitely like a little bit nervous just because of what happened in Rio. But overall, I'm just really excited to like go and race because this year I only raced a few times. So I think just getting out and racing and getting into another pool will be so fun for me. So how do you advance? Like, do you, are you still getting better? When do you when do you mm -hmm. peak? Uh, I think I've definitely worried about plateauing and everything but overall I think I'm kind of just trying to train better and get faster every day and I can't really complain if I'm coming out of the pool knowing I've tried 100 percent so. Are you getting faster? I think I'm getting faster it's kind of hard to tell just because I haven't really raced a lot this year but I know I did a couple of better times this year than last year at this point in the season so. So what's the secret? Like how do you, what, is it mind games? It's obviously you're strong. Yeah. For me, I think swimming's a very mental sport, I guess, just because you train basically by yourself all the time. You're always just head in the water. There's no music, there's nothing, it's just you. So I think you have to have a mental toughness to like do that every day and for hours a day. Also competing, it's super important to have a really good mental game, I guess. Just. I know that you can't really go into competitions and race fast if you're super nervous. You have to just be able to like get more laid back and chill out and just be chill for it. So how do you do that? I'm not really sure. I've just mm. always been able to do that, like go into competitions and not get too nervous for them. But also I think it's my support team is really, really good around me and they're really good at telling me to just go in, no expectations, no pressure, just to have fun. So. I think having that also helps a lot. I read that when you first started swimming, you were mm -hmm. rejected because you couldn't swim two yeah. laps. 
Yeah, I wasn't super good at swimming when I first started. It was kind of just something I wanted to get into and see if I could be good at it. And I just kind of kept going with it and yeah, here I am. <laughs> so you learned something from failure almost. Yeah, I think I learned a lot from failure, especially in swimming. You lose so many races and it's kind of tough to lose those races, but I feel like it helps you push forward to win another one. And then Tokyo, so. Yes, I'm super excited for Tokyo and go to another Olympics if I can make the team, hopefully. <laughs> Well, no pressure. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no pressure. We'd like at least four more. Yeah, I know. A lot of people have said that to me. It's, it's kind of weird when people are like, oh, yeah, we want four more medals, like probably four gold medals. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to try my best. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. So you're kind of a, a hero to a lot of young women. Do, do you have a message for young women interested in sports or aspiring to yeah. anything amazing? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of young girls and young people that have definitely come up to me and told me that I've inspired them to like get in a pool or I've inspired them to start a new sport or something like that and that's something that means a lot to me just because seeing young girls get active and seeing young people get active for me is a super big deal. I don't know, I just love seeing people happy and doing what they love and to see people find love in sports. and loving stuff that I love, so like swimming, it's just amazing. Well, all the best to you, Penny. Thank you so yeah, much. Thanks.